All right, here we go. We're gonna go over an anti-rotational movement. The whole idea behind an anti-rotational movement is to resist the twist. So I'm gonna go over two progressions of this exercise and I'm gonna show you a common error I see in the gym. You are going to get yourself into a push-up position, hands slightly closer than your shoulder width apart, and hit your feet a little wider than your hips. The goal here is to resist any twisting. So you're gonna tap, 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 tap. What you don't wanna do is rotate. The natural inclination is to counterbalance when you only have three points of contact. But the whole idea behind this exercise is to engage your trunk and all your core musculature to stabilize your pelvis and resist the twist. Now, a second progression for this exercise is to add load, and you can do that with dumbbells. Now, I see this a lot in the gym, but oftentimes the dumbbells are too heavy and people rotate, and again, that defeats the purpose of the exercise. So, they'll start here, and as soon as they row, they do this. You take all the load off their trunk, and you're putting it all on your shoulder. Completely defeats the purpose of the exercise. So, if you're gonna add load with dumbbells, you're gonna wanna, again, resist the twist. And I think this is really important for you to hear. Using dumbbells to add load to the anti-rotational movement is great if you can handle that load. This is less a rowing exercise and more a core exercise. And again, I can't emphasize this enough. If you find yourself having to rotate, it's too difficult for you. Get back to the body weight version of just shoulder taps. If you want to make it more challenging as a rowing movement as well as a core stabilization movement, I'll show you how you do that. So now what you would do is you would actually elevate yourself. Now you're going to get a full range of motion on the row. Now, of course, this dumbbell is pretty light. If you go ahead with a heavy enough load, it's going to challenge you to not twist. Again, resist the twist. If this is too easy, either go heavier or go lower. So you find that it is near impossible for you to resist the twist, and then you know you're doing it right. Good luck.